What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to The Order. New Game Plus is a common feature in many RPGs these days, allowing players to restart their journey from the beginning, bringing over features and things unlocked from their previous playthrough, all while adding new elements to the mix. Naturally, Marvel's Midnight Suns has its own take on New Game Plus, unlocked after you complete your first playthrough of the game, but what exactly is carried over into that new journey and is it actually worth starting at all? Let's discuss. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Midnight Suns coverage and insight. I've got videos dedicated to the game's characters, teams, cards, combat mission breakdowns, you name it, and so much more. If you're new to the order, welcome on in. It's good to have you with us. Now, when firing up New Game Plus in Midnight Suns, you'll be able to start your journey in any of the difficulties unlocked previously. However, there are no new or higher difficulties beyond Ultimate 3 in New Game Plus. Outside of certain enemy units popping up earlier than they do in your initial playthrough and being able to do any of the mission types much earlier, there are no dramatic differences to combat in New Game Plus. So if you're expecting a dramatic increased challenge or new enemy mechanics, you're going to be a bit disappointed. It's from here we should get into what exactly is in and what's missing when you kickstart New Game Plus. The biggest positive, every hero is available to use at the start of the playthrough, so you'll be able to run any and all characters throughout many of the game's missions from the start. However, do be warned that until those characters actually get introduced in the story, they won't be able to interact in any cutscenes despite being present in the Abbey. The game's narrative doesn't shift from what it is, despite your roster being different. One weird note is that all of your friendship levels do carry over from your previous playthrough, including any pending friendship meetups you had remaining left over, meaning you'll be able to continue conversations with your teammates that you started with your previous hunter, while still having various cutscenes play out as if you haven't built up those relationships, which I think is odd. To be honest, I feel like the overall approach to New Game Plus's, well, newness is a bit backwards. The biggest issue stems from the fact that all of the things you unlocked, from your cards, mods, upgrades, and combat items, do not carry over into New Game Plus. So every single deck for every single character will have to be rebuilt from the ground up, rolling new gamma coils, re-rolling mods, everything. Legendary cards also have to be re-earned through challenges despite having your friendship levels and passive abilities for each character carry over. You'll also have to complete all of your research projects from the start once again. However, the projects don't have any of those prerequisites this time, like completing a mission with a certain character, so you can start them as soon as you unlock them. Bonuses from exploring the Abbey also have to be re-explored and re-earned. And while all of your cosmetic unlocks are still in the game, they have to be repurchased and only a small amount of gloss, seemingly around 1000 at least for me, will actually transfer over into New Game Plus. While it's true that grinding for these items and combat abilities is a core part of the overall gameplay experience in Midnight Suns, I feel like an alternative would be to simply make the New Game Plus experience offer something in regards to new enemy mechanics and potentially higher difficulties forcing you to adopt new strategies with the abilities you already unlocked, working as a foundation to build off of. I feel like all of the combat related elements that we earned in the game, cards and mods and such, would be the things that carry over, but all of the story related pieces including the relationships we built with the characters would be completely reset in order to forge new friendship paths with a new hunter or at the very least offer you the option to choose what gets kept and what gets reset, like a checklist. At the end of the day, there really isn't a lot of new in New Game Plus. Like I said, not having a higher difficulty level to pursue or a truly game-changing wrinkle to the overall gameplay experience that you need to adjust to is something I feel like is missing from the New Game Plus experience in Midnight Suns. There's plenty to enjoy if you're just looking to start the game fresh with a few carryovers, but it may not satisfy everyone due to its lack of distinct new features. 
If you started New Game Plus, let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying what it has to offer, and if you have any cool ideas for what you'd rather see in the experience, drop them below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit it with a like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, have a good one.